Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a very quick uh, little like mini look at this uh, LCR digital uh, bridge. It's the XJW01 and it's uh, off eBay £67 something I paid for it and that includes the shipping. Um, it comes in one of these, you know, pretty sort of cheap enclosure boxes. Nothing special there. It plugs in at the back by a uh, kettle lead, and a three-pin kettle lead, uh, and it's a four-wire, uh, which is a little bit more accurate than uh, two-wire. Uh, it's LCR, so that's. Uh, inductor, capacitor and resistor and it's not terribly bad um, just for a start off you know, we'll check the resistor on this is a, a natural fact it's in for an inductor I have here from Farnell uh, this is a 56 nanofarad inductor um, so I'm just going to put that on Yeah. And it's really not between 90 and 100. Uh, no, no, Henry's. Did I say it was a nano farad inductor? <coughs> well, it's not. It's Henry. So, you know, that's. Um, I think I, I think I need to pull these uh, these leads out on this inductor just very slightly anyway, and that will reduce the inductance on it. So I can plug it into my breadboard. I've just put it back on again, and look as it's gone down there. So what I need is 56 nano nano Henrys, and that's uh, you know suggesting about 80 nano Henrys. The accuracy of this meter, it you know, like I said, it's 60, 67 pounds. Probably can't expect too much from it. So that's not too bad on the uh, inductor there. It's a nice little, uh, nice little pass there. Hundred, hundred, uh, a thousand mic. Sorry, it's not really good focus, is it? A thousand mic. Uh, Thirty-five volts. So let's just chuck that on. Uh, it's in inductor mode, so I forced it into that mode so it wouldn't read the inductor as a um, as a uh, resistor. And that which is an auto. Um, I'm going to put it to. Um, oh, I want. I'm going to put it to uh, uh, 100 hertz for reading the uh, electrolytic. So I'll put that on for that. This is a thousand mic. Is it settling? Okay, so that's not too bad. And if we wanted to look at just the, uh, the ESR, oh, wrong one. Uh, just the ESR, we would hit. Uh, we'll have that this one. There we go. And so there's the resistance. There's the primary indicator there, and the uh, capacitance there, of course. Um, you've got this quality thing and the theta is the uh, the angle so if I just go back to um, right here and the dissipation of the capacitor so you know that's not too bad and for resistance let me check a, a couple of known values here that one's 9 point, 9.1 K and um, there's a 40, oh there's the 9.1k and there's also 40 ohms to go, you know, down the down the thing a little bit, let's just put this on yep, this is the 40 ohms okay, so that's, that's not bad not bad, not bad at all. <coughs> uh, what else can we put on here? Uh, we got a. Uh, what is that? That's a. Uh, oh, 100 nanofarads. We pop 
that on. And you can, you know, shift the range to, um, so it's not an auto checking everything, resistance and inductance. You can, you can switch it so it, uh, so now it's on auto just for capacitors. Auto for inductors and auto for resistance or auto all round. Uh, I'm not sure what that actually does. I don't know if you just noticed that this just changed down here. Um, and it said auto through there. So maybe it's just another bit of information, but I'm not sure exactly what that's for. So, so yeah, just the overall very quickly then. Uh, it's not a very expensive build. Uh, I'm not sure what this little capacitor is. Oh, it's a nano farad by the looks of it. We're on 100 hertz, really we should be, uh, should be on that, a kilohertz for that. So there we go, there's a, a nano farad. Being a thousand picofarads, we got a thousand and six, thousand and seven. Okay, so. That was it. Oh, we got a little tiny one down here. This is uh, this is actually just picos, a few pico farads. I think it's about 15 or something, or 10 on. Uh, 10, there we go. Pretty bad one, really. Um, so, if anybody's out there looking for these meters, uh, I've got one of these as well. Um, uh, and I like this one. This is for more for transistors. I use this one for. And that's exactly why I got this one because uh, testing bigger transistors and those stiff connectors, it just doesn't work and it becomes a frustration. Um, but as for this little meter, I would say anybody that wants a, you know, a, a four lead cheap digital bridge for you know just under seventy pounds, I think that's pretty good. I like it you know, compared to I've had like about four other of these uh, Chinese little meters and they all just frustrated me because. Like I say, you know, those ZIF connectors, as soon as you've got some solder on the leads or something, it's okay if you're doing a little transistor, 2N222. 2, 2N222, two, 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 two. yeah, those types of transistors, fair enough. Um, but as soon as you're going, and it does triax as well, this thing does, does triax. Um, but as soon as you're chucking a, a bigger, like a, a TIP35C or something, it's not going into those ZIF connectors, and if you do get it in there, the chances are you've been able to measure anything else in there. Uh, once you've damaged those little things, is uh, you know, it's um, it's going to cause you problems. Anyway, so very very quick on there. Um, yeah, for the money, I say I say a bit of a thumbs up. It's not too bad as well. I think it only uses uh, 0.5 uh, milliwatts, so you can leave it on all day, um, and you don't have to worry about the electricity bills. Thanks for watching.